So in the previous lesson, we looked at the direct method of interpolation and we solved an example on that. Now in today's lesson, we are going to consider the Lagrangian method of interpolation and specifically, we will be solving a question on linear interpolation. That is where we are going to consider a polynomial function of the first order. So let's get into today's lesson. So the Lagrangian interpolation is given by the function fn of x and that is equal to the summation of li of x times f of xi from i equals 0 to n where n is said to be the order of the polynomial function. So n basically represents the order of the polynomial function. So what this means is that if we have a first order polynomial function then n is equal to 1 if we have a second order polynomial function then n is equal to 2 and so on and so forth and li of x is said to be the product of x minus xj divided by xi minus xj from j equals 0 where j is not equal to i to n so basically we are going to use these two formulas to solve this problem now in this problem we are going to determine the value of the velocity at t equals 16 seconds using a first order Lagrangian or Lagrange polynomial. So we've already solved this question using the direct method of interpolation. The only difference here is that in this lesson, we are going to consider solving this same problem using a first order Lagrange polynomial. So let's try to solve this example together. So as we already know, we are going to solve this using a first order Lagrange polynomial. And this means that we have n to be equal to 1. Now in that regard, the next thing we need to do is to generate the velocity function. The velocity function. So from this formula, we are going to have the velocity function to be, we have v. Now n is equal to 1, so that's basically going to be v1 of t because we have the velocity to be a function of time so that's basically going to be v1 of t that is representing the left hand side and that is equal to we have the summation the summation from i equals 0 to n and then n is 1 so we have 2 1 and then we have li of t times v of ti now because we have this to be a summation we can expand this we can expand this to have we can have from 0 to 1 so we have that of 0 and then we have that of 1 so basically we are going to have l 0 of t that is when i is equal to 0 we have L0 or beta still L0 of T times V of T0 and then plus because it's summation so we have plus when I is equal to 1 then we have L1 of T times V of T1 so basically we can expand this to have that and that is basically equal to V1 of T so what this means is that we are going to have four components that is one two three four and these are going to help us to find or to develop an expression for v1 of t then we can find v1 of 16 that is when t is equal to 16. so for these four components first of all we can easily generate v of t naught and then v of t1 in the sense that because we are going to consider a first order Lagrange polynomial, it means that we are going to work with n plus 1 data points. So that is 1 plus 1, which is 2 data points. So considering two numbers that are closest to 16, but then they are also bracketing 16, when you look at this table, you realize that 15 and then between 15 and then 20, we can have 16 inside of it. And these two numbers are closest to 16 and they bracket 16. So it means that we are going to consider T0 to be 15 seconds and then T1 
to be 20 seconds so we have t naught to be 15 seconds and then we have t1 to be 20 seconds now for all these time values we have their corresponding velocity values so their corresponding velocity values are going to be v of t naught and then v1 sorry v of t1 so from the table we have v of 15 to be 362.78 so 362.78 meter per second and then that of t1 is 517.35 so 517.35 meter per second so we have the values of v of t naught and then v of t1 so next let's try to find the values or the expression for l naught of t and then l1 of t so coming back to this formula we have l naught of t and that is equal to now considering this formula we have the product from j equals 0 to n now we are saying that j should not be equal to i now from here we have i to be 0 so it means that j should not be equal to 0 okay so we have 0 and then we have 1 so if j is not equal to 0 then it means that j is equal to 1 that is what it literally means so for this one we are going to have t minus tj divided by now we have i to be 0 so t0 minus tj and then we can have this to be t minus now what is j as i said earlier on if j is not equal to 0 then it means that j is equal to 1 so we are going to have t1 over t0 or t0 minus t1 so trying to fix in t0 t1 that is the values of t0 t1 we are going to have l0 of t basically that's going to be t minus 20 divided by 15 that is t naught minus 20 so basically this is l naught of t now let's do same for l1 of t for l1 of t we have that to be the product from j equals 0 and j should not be equal to 1 it should not be equal to 1 to n so here we are also going to have t minus tj divided by we have i to be 1 so t1 minus tj and that simply becomes t minus now if j is not equal to 1 then it means j is equal to 0 so we have t minus t naught divided by t1 minus t naught and hence this becomes t minus t naught is 15 divided by t1 that is 20 minus 15 so at this point we have all the four components we have all the four components so from this it means that we can derive or generate an expression for v1 of t we can generate an expression for v1 of t So we are going to have v1 of t that's basically going to be that is from this um, expression or from this formula we have l naught of t that is t minus 20 divided by 15 minus 20 
so t minus 20 divided by 15 minus 20 times v of t naught and what is v of t naught that is 362.78 so times 362.78 and then plus l1 of t l1 of t is t minus 15 divided by 20 minus 15 so t minus 15 divided by 20 minus 15 times v of t1 that is 517.35 so this is the velocity function that is v1 of t where 15 is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to 20. now to find the velocity at t equals 16 seconds so for v1 of t at t equals 16 seconds we are going to have v1 of 16 that is equal to so we have 16 that is wherever we see t we are going to fix 16 so 16 minus 20 divided by 15 minus 20 so you have this multiplied by 362.78 plus 16 minus 15 divided by 20 minus 15 and then you multiply that by 517.35 so if you evaluate this you are going to have 0.8 0 0.8 0 .8 times 362.78 and then plus you evaluate this also you are going to have 0 0.2 and then times 517.35 so at this point when you evaluate the whole of this you are going to have 393 393.694 And this is nearly equal to 393.69 meter per second that is v1 of t at t equals 16 seconds